Hello and welcome back to the third and final part of the Pico TV series exploring the Smart Switch range of products. This time we're going to be learning more about the Smart Frog. In this film, we will be using the PL202 power supply unit, the PL29 resistors, and the PL30 LEDs. Smart Frog can be used for controlling frog polarity on Electro Frog and Unifrog turnouts when used with Smart Switch. Electro Frog and Unifrog turnouts have the option of separate supply of the power to the frog area to make the route through the turnout completely live, without relying on the blades to maintain electrical contact. When using Smart Switch, the Smart Frog is the simplest way to supply power to the frog. Smart Frog is a circuit board that connects to the Smart Switch control board that powers the frog automatically switching the polarity of the frog as the relevant servo moves the blades. Let's look at the diagram. Fix the Smart Frog in an accessible but hidden part of your layout with double sided tape or sticky back foam pads. A constant 12 volt power supply is required. We recommend the PL202 power supply unit. This can be shared with the smart switch system as shown. Please note, DCC track voltage will not power the smart frog. You must use a clean DC 12 volt feed to power the device. However, this will not affect the smart frog's ability to work with DCC track feed. When laying the track, Follow the instructions included with the turnout to ensure the isolated rail joiners and power feeds are used correctly. Connect the Smart Frog as shown in the diagram. This shows the setup for a turnout being operated by one servo. For subsequent turnouts, use terminals 21 and 22, servo 3, 31 and 32, and for servo 4, 41 and 42, retrospectively. If a short circuit occurs when the locomotive runs over the turnout, simply switch the two wires connected to the track positive and negative terminals. When connecting LEDs for indication of route, the Smart Frog is connected to the terminals on the Smart Switch control board, labeled LED output. When the Smart Frog is installed, the LEDs are instead connected to the Smart Frog board using the COM plus terminals, both the positive and the negative outputs. When connecting LEDs to your smart frog, make sure you use the PL29 resistors on the positive feed to avoid damaging your LEDs. You can also use smart frog to change the frog polarity for electro frog and uni frog turnouts without a smart switch system as a standalone unit for both DC and DCC. As shown in the diagram, all you need to do is provide the smart switch with its own independent power supply and connect your track and your frog wires again to the unit as shown in this diagram. We also recommend using the PL202 power supply to operate your unit. If you are using manually operated turnouts or solenoid type motors, these make frog polarity switching easy and straightforward. Two smart frog units are required for items such as slips and crossings. A single PL202 power supply unit provides enough voltage and power for multiple smart frog devices. We hope you found this film helpful in explaining how to use smart switch and smart frog correctly and we look forward to seeing you again on another Pico TV program in the future. Thank you.